you know that over 200 million boxes of cookies are sold by Girl Scouts every year? That's amazing, and it's only in a four-month period. I bet a lot of you have purchased them, and some of you may have even sold them yourself, like I did. I remember it well, sitting with my friends, about 11 years old with my friends, in a kind of a dingy, smelly, kind of scaly basement in a fire hall. That's where we had our Girl Scout meetings. Now, it was cookie selling season, and our leader moms were excitedly telling us about the cookie sale and how all of our efforts would help us earn more funds to have you know, fun going camping. We'd have more fun going on field trips and making crafts for people at the nursing homes oh boy, this is really something. We could really do a lot with this campaign. I felt like that was a, was a lot of hype, and I thought maybe this is something I'd really like to do, Did not realizing that maybe I had a selling bug in me. So I went home excitedly to tell my parents, hey, I'm ready to sell Girl Scout cookies. Whoa, I wasn't expecting their response. No one from this house is going to sell cookies or anything to anybody in our neighborhood, they unfortunately had that really weird door-to-door -door salesman stereotype in their heads, thinking that's what I was going to be. So I felt a little dejected, thinking, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't do this for my troop now. I'm not going to be able to be part of the selling team. And so as a kid, you know, I think back, I just kept bugging them, please, please, I'd love for you to, you know, give me a chance. Sign that permission slip and they relented, and they did. And thinking back, I thought, well, you know, maybe I had some really good persuasive skills. Maybe I had some innate sales ability I didn't really know about. I mean, really, I was able to convince my parents to go out and ask people for money to buy something they loved. And guess what that was? Thin mints. <laughs> Who doesn't like that? So. I went out there to the neighborhood, hurriedly going door to door, knocking confidently on the door, asking people to buy something from me. I wore my green uniform, I was representing my brand, and I thought, wow, I can close a deal. I can present a product. I can do something. And it, what it really did was prepare me for my future sales career. Looking back, I think about that experience, and women that I meet that don't necessarily see confidence in how to sell. And I think to myself, I guess they have those aggressive stereotypes still in their head, thinking, I can't really do this because I'm going to be viewed as a salesperson, as that aggressive used car salesman or someone that nobody likes. But I think that people, that if they get the right experience and confidence in themselves, they can be successful in sales. My book, Selling Your Confidence, Forging a Successful Sales Career from Mint Cookies to Martinis, <laughs> gives a big shout out to women who can use their own sales ability and authenticity to really be successful in sales by dropping those negative stereotypes and moving forward. And I can help those people by three different ways, and that would be being authentic, building relationships, and closing a deal confidently. That way, you will be the trusted expert and the person that your client will want to work with. I'm Jean Wright, speaker, motivator, and that person that can help you do much better in your sales. Thank you.